Hello YouTube, this is Neil Desai after almost a year because of my academic curriculum. This time I have made home security system. So home security system is basically very important for each and every home against the burglar activities out there. So this is my home security system. This is an outer case which is an aluminum case, a safety case for my circuit. This case is directly connected via 230 AC supply uh, via this power brick this brick is a uh, 3 amp and 12 volt so let's see inside so here here is a GSM module Arduino Nano 4 channel relay and Bluetooth yes uh, another module is on my rear door which is connected via this module uh, via this Bluetooth I have extended the range of this Bluetooth wire this radio wire has just take uh, two wire and shoulder with its antenna so automatically I have extended the range of this Bluetooth so here is a three indicators first one is uh, power another one is arm and third one is a trigger when I turn on this circuit this uh, whole system will require 30 seconds for a uh, stabilization not stabilization but uh, calibration of the PIR sensors yes I have used PIR sensors for detection so PIR sensors what they do they actually notice the human heat or animal heat which is uh, which will change when you move so it will notice that and trip the whole system so after 30 seconds this arm, uh, arm light will go steady so now this is steady and if uh, someone passed by that PIR sensor which I have connected on my ceilings uh, this trigger will turn on and I will get a call yes call because the call is the most noticeable thing on your phone uh, yeah but uh, I can also use uh, you can also use SMS but mainly I neglect the SMS because lots of sms are coming on my phone from the service provider etc so that's not the point here i can also shut down and reset the whole system via my sms i can also give command remotely anywhere in this country and this is it so still there are two uh, wires are not connected and loose here i will connect this wire to my living room and this wire to my garage and the sensor is on my ceiling and this one is my siren I will connect this siren in my garage another siren is already connected there this siren is a chi siren which is very annoying and it's pretty loud this works on a 12 volt yeah it's a pretty good so the main thing for this project is the sensor uh, calibration that that point I have given a uh, 30 seconds for that but another one is trial and error yes there is lots of uh, fall calls you will get I mean false alarm you will get uh, for the sensitivity so I will just set the sensitivity of the PIR I have set the sensitivity for now is uh, around 25 30 which is good because uh, if the light is nearby your sensor it will Take the hit and trip the whole system and once the system goes on alarm lights and my phone yeah i will get notified so it's a safety to do some trial and error method for two to three days and keep eye on this whole system for two to three days how it behaves for each and every scenarios i mean when it's a morning the sunlight will um, Effect your sensor and and the night artificial light tube lights LEDs will affect but when the home is you are not at home the lights are off so basically you have to give two to three days for calibration of not the calibration but trial and error method for whole system thank you